how to use the previously made file in the excel sheet to for the promoter analysis for this purpose what you will do you will just download the tb tool from the internet and then you will click over there so then you will go to the graphics and there is a heat map illustrator then you will click over the heat map there so they have told us that your input file should be like the gene ids first and then the sample number so i will just delete them and what i will do i will copy my file and i will paste it in the tv tool so it will be like that you just click on the start so this is so easy like you will had you have get the map heat map so now is the matter of uh, setting like how to uh, make the graph beautiful how to uh, you can uh, color make uh, the graph vibrant for this purpose you will firstly this color scheme are fine for me but you can choose a color from here like there are the lucky colors you can choose according to your interest but for me uh, the fine which we get the previously it was in the bluish shade I guess so let me get this uh, for example it, it was like that so the next thing is is show the control dialog i will click over there the thing is we want to get the clustering there column clustering and the row clustering for this purpose i will click over the cluster row and here you can see that there is a phylogenetic tree here is a tree uh, that shows the clustering so and here is the cluster column and uh, you want to make these num uh, these uh, label uh, at 90 degrees so you will make this like that and the other thing uh, and the other thing is the, like it's depend on you uh, for example if you select the scale method 0 to 1 home so like uh, from here you can select the tile shape for example they are rectangular if you want to get them in the circular form then you will click over there but most of the time it is uh, the rectangle so i don't suggest you to get the rect uh, circular but it's depend on you so it is like that and uh, here here is the idea row column so you can also change the setting like you want to get the 16 bold then okay then they, they are highlighted in the same way you want to get the bold and like this it will appear like this so you want to get the color of this cluster so you will click over there and select a color for example red in which i am selecting I'm interested so i will select this and it will appear the red here and here from here you can change the width and height of this but this is for this type of graph if you want to get the circular graph for this purpose you have to click over there and uh, auto pull polar then it will appear like that then you can change the inner angle so you can change it like uh, 120 uh, it was 120 already so you can make this the 200 so so let me refresh so it will be like that but this is no good thing so 120 is fine 120 or 100 is also fine so you will get like this and and 
the other thing is that you can increase the uh, parameters of this by clicking on these values so now i will close this and this is not in the center so you will just select it like this and you will just drag them and you will get in the center but this is not right uh, i don't know why it is not working but you will try then it will make some Thing better so in this way you will get this and when if when you have completed all the step then you will you want to save this so you will click over the save graph so the PNG and the PDF is also fine so I will click on the PNG and then I will save then it will uh, require the directory from you so you can give the directory and a file then you will click on the save and in this way you will get the graph now in which you are interested uh, if you have any question uh, regarding that then you can email me on my email address so thank you have a good day